Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll make another trap beat, but this time we'll make a beginner tutorial, which means we're not gonna care about mixing or any other effects and we're not gonna edit any of the sounds. I just want to show you the basic idea of a trap beat so that those of you who just get started with LMMS have an idea of what to do. So as you can see I'm starting out with a blank project. The BPM will stay at 140 and now we're just gonna search drums which are all included in LMMS. I'm just gonna click on here, go to my samples, drum synth, then under MISC I'm just gonna pick the RB fantasy kick as our kick. Then our snare will be this one and another snare right here. Sounds almost the same but not exactly and you will see why soon. Then <clears throat> to layer our main snare and to have it separate from the other we're gonna add a clap which is under Miss Claps, the classic clap. So now we're gonna lay out our drum pattern and for the snare when you make a trap beat you want to place the main snare on this step so leave uh, eight of these three and then add the snare and do the same again here. And then we're gonna layer it with the clap and place this snare right here so we have a bounce that is very common in trap as you can hear and I'm just gonna turn this down real quick so as soon as you can hear something starts to get really loud you just gonna adjust the volumes a bit and yeah just turn everything down a bit now for the kick the common bounce would be place the first kick of course on the first beat and then place one right before here so it sounds like this and then you can hear there's a gap right here that needs to be filled with the kick and then we have this and that is the main rhythm but we're gonna add a variation now we're gonna add two steps so click this twice so that we double this length and then place the snares again at the exact same spot but you want to place one of the bouncy snares right here and then for the kick we're just gonna copy this pattern but we're gonna add one kick right behind the snare so now we have a variation and it doesn't get too repetitive so this is our full drum beat Alright, now this is the drum beat, but what is essential for trap beats are the hi-hats and especially the hi-hat rolls. So we're gonna select our hi-hats from this kit. We're still in the drum synth folder under TR606. We're gonna select the head C for closed and the head O for open. Now first of all turn it down a bit and then add the head on every second of these points so we have the basic groove down it sounds like this and for the open head I'm just gonna add another step and copy this and for the open head we're gonna 
play it every time here. So it introduces the snare to the ear. It sounds like this. And now for the most impo important part in trap beats, the hi-hat rolls. So you see all of our notes here and um, now you need to fill in the gaps where you want to roll. It's not possible right now because our um, snap to grid is at 116. We need to do left click on this, change it to 132nd and then zoom in to see better where you want to place the roll. Now, um, you just, right now you have selected this, this node, but um, we just want to get our nodes in between these. So we're gonna left click on this, which means it copies our last node, as you can see here, and then fill in this gap. And now you have uh, the nice little roll uh, before the snare. For the second part, I'm gonna add one hi-hat here. And then, to not make it repetitive, I'm gonna add the roll here instead of here. And it should sound like this. And there you have the whole drum beat that we're just gonna keep for the beat. Now we're gonna move on to the instruments and the bass, starting with our main melody. I'm gonna go to my presets under Zin at sub fx, go to the mysterious bank, and then I'm gonna select this one. Now I'm not gonna make this super complicated and now this is very important right now you have these not selected and you can't drag these out which is not what you want so you're gonna change this to like one fourth and then go back again to last note now you can adjust these and it will copy them and for the melody I'm gonna go up here and we're gonna focus on all the vi white notes so ignore the black ones these steps and this one for example and just keep focused on the white notes so for trap music you usually want to go in half steps and I'm gonna move down here and then go half step up which creates like suspense and then go back up and we're just gonna repeat this pattern it's really simple but I don't want to make it com completely uh, completely changed up every time it plays to keep the purpose of this tutorial simple Yeah, and this is basically the, the melody. Just gonna turn it up because it's quite quiet. And now you can add a layer of this melody by right clicking on this copy, create another. Um, beat baseline editor and then I'm gonna go under collection and this ghost and then copy uh, paste I mean now it sounds like this and I'm just gonna drop this down one octave and now you have a layer for your melody and together it sounds like this now you can spice 
this up by adding some brass. Go under brass, we're still in the net sub fx, go to brass pad, brass pad 2, and then you can copy these notes, select them with this tool, press Ctrl C, and then copy them in here by pr pressing Ctrl V. Move this on, down a few octaves by pressing Ctrl arrow down and then control arrow right. Now you can see which notes are already being played and you can use this as an orientation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place this long note here on the same spot where our melody starts and then go down here. As you can see this note is still in our melody. I'm gonna move this up to the right once more so that we can make more change-ups. I'm gonna go back up here for this note and then I'm gonna move up. Now this note isn't in the melody but it's still in the scale because it's one of the white notes. And yeah, this is the brass support for the melody and now it sounds like this. Now, last but not least, we need to add an 808 and this is going to get a bit more complicated because we actually have to create the 808 ourselves. I'm just going to turn it down. Just add a triple oscillator from instrument plugin, move it here and then open it up. Now as you can see right now there's three oscillators and they all have the same amount of volume but we just gonna focus on two of them so first of all let me get our pattern in I'm just gonna paste the main melody back in to see which notes we can use and I'm gonna start with this one again Wait, 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 wait. Actually, what we're going to do is copy our kick pattern. So, right click on this, copy, and paste it into the triple oscillator. And then press Ctrl arrow down to the octave where you actually want to be. And now go to our root note, root note which is the note the melody starts with and now you can see uh, at which point our kick hits and this is important because we want the 808 hit whenever the kick hits too. So now we're gonna replace these notes with these notes so right click to get rid of these and then move those in, in the place where the small ones were. Now I'm just going to drag these out and now we can add the melody back in and see which notes we can use. So as you can see C2 is in the melody so I'm just going to pull this one up and then I'm going to move this up here. It's not the same note as the melody but it's the same note as the brass so it will fit. Now we have the instrumentation of our 808. Now we're gonna get into the sound design. So first of all I'm gonna move this to zero semitone so it's the same as this one. Then I'm gonna change this from a sine wave to a square wave just left click this one and now it sounds like this it will be pretty loud 
yeah so this is the sound now we're gonna go to the envelope stay on volume move the amount to one so turn it all the way up and then remove, remove the hold because we want the sound that fades out turn off the sustain as well and then turn the decay up a bit and this is very important you need to add some attack so that the kick doesn't clash with the 808 now we have this sound and now the most important thing is add a two times low pass filter you need to activate it by left clicking on filter and then move the frequency all the way down to about 130 like this and then turn the resonance up a bit to about 1.2, 1 1.25 and this is basically our 808 and now we are pretty much done with the whole beat I'm gonna play it through once or twice and let me know if this tutorial was helpful and if I should do more of these beginner tutorials and yeah I would be happy if you left a like and subscribe to this channel so I'm just gonna play it through and thank you for watching